Dear students, under the topic Laplace transform, here we have result 8. Already we have seen results from 1 to 7 in our previous video lectures. Now here we have result 8 which says that Laplace transform of t to the power n is equal to n factorial divided by s to the power n plus 1. So this is the standard result. This result can also be expressed as gamma of n plus 1 divided by s to the power n plus 1 or it can also be expressed as n gamma n divided by s to the power n plus 1 according to the requirement of the problem. So in order to prove this as the first step we shall write the general formula for Laplace transform which is given by L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power negative s t f of t dt. Now here in our question the given function f of t is equal to t to the power n. So t power n. So let us substitute that. So therefore we obtain Laplace transform of t to the power n to be equal to integral 0 to infinity e to the power negative st and what is f of t? It is t to the power n dt. Now in order to solve this integration we will be adopting the method of substitution where we will be substituting st to be equal to some x. So we are going to put st to be equal to x. So from this if we differentiate t with respect to x we will be getting s multiplied with dt to be equal to dx. So from this we obtain dt to be equal to dx divided by s. So this is the dt that we have obtained and from st equal to x we can say that t is equal to x divided by s. So this also we obtain from it. Also whenever we make a substitution we should also remember about the limits. So when the given limit is for t. So when t is equal to 0 what about the limit of x. So if you substitute t is equal to 0 the value of x is also 0. So in that case the x is also equal to 0. The other limit is infinity. So when t is equal to infinity, what about x? x is also equal to infinity. So in this problem, there is no change of limits. The limits remains the same. But still, all it's always advisable to check the limits whenever we make a substitution. Because for few problems, the limits may change. Okay. So now from this, we let us make this substitution over here. So Laplace transform of t to the power n will be equal to the limits are same so 0 to infinity e to the power negative st but what is st we have made it a substitution of x so e to the power negative x and t is equal to x by s so x by s whole to the power n and what is dt dt is equal to dx by s so dx divided by s so this is what we obtain after substitution. Now let us integrate this. So if we see here s is a constant which can be taken out of the integral. So the power of s over here is n and the power of s over here is 1. And so when it is taken outside the integral we will be having 1 by s to the power of so n plus 1. So n plus 1 integral 0 to infinity. Uh, and this x power n I will write in the front. So x power n e to the power negative x dx. Now if we see this integral, we observe that this integral is a gamma function. We have already learned in our previous semester regarding beta function and gamma function. So where we have learned that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to this integral. So this integral can be replaced as gamma of n plus 1. So this is equal to 1 by s to the power n plus 1. And this complete integral is gamma of n plus 1. So we have replaced it. Therefore we obtain this to be equal to gamma of n plus 1 divided by s to the power n plus 1. Which is one of the result. So if you see here we have obtained the second one that is L of t power n is equal to gamma of n plus 1 divided by s to the power n plus 1.
and we know that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial. So, if we replace it by n factorial, we get n factorial by s power n plus 1. In other terms, we can also equate gamma of n plus n to be n gamma n by the formula under gamma function. So, it can, we obtain n gamma n divided by s to the power n plus 1. So, we obtain all the three in respect of Laplace transform of uh, t to the power n. So, we can conclude this problem in this way that is since gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial, we get Laplace transform of t to the power n to be equal to. So, if we replace gamma of n plus 1 by n factorial, we get n factorial divided by s to the power n plus 1. So, this is one of the solution. Also, we know that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n. And so, therefore, we obtain Laplace transform of t to the power n to be equal to n gamma n divided by s to the power n plus 1. So, we have obtained the three different representations for Laplace transform of t to the power n. So, this uh, from this we obtain these two as well. So, hope you have understood this. Using this Laplace transform of, transform of t to the power n, we will find the following results also. So, this is what we have obtained. Now, from this, first result that we obtain is if you put the value of n to be equal to 0. So, over here, if you put L n as 0, the Laplace transform of t to the power 0. But what is L of t to the power 0? t to the power 0 is 1. So, any value raised to the power 0 is 1. So, Laplace transform of 1. And so, that will be equal to so, here at the place of n, we have to replace it by 0. So, 0 factorial divided by, here you have s to the power 0 plus 1 is 1. But what is 0 factorial? It is equal to 1 divided by s to the power 1. So, that is s. So, therefore, we obtain L of 1 to be equal to 1 by s from this. So, therefore, L of 1 is equal to 1 by s. Already we in one of first, in our first result, we have derived the value of L of 1 to be equal to 1 by s by using the integral formula of Laplace transform. Uh, so, L of 1 equal to s, 1 by s can also be derived from this uh, result. So, the next result that we obtain will be by putting the value of n to be equal to 1 in this result. So, let us do that now. So, if we put the value of n to be equal to 1, we get Laplace transform of t to the power 1 which is t and that is equal to, so here if we put 1, it will be 1 factorial divided by s to the power 1 plus 1 and so what is 1 factorial? It is 1 only. So, 1 divided by s square. So, therefore, we obtain Laplace transform of t to be equal to 1 by s square. So, this also we can use as a result in our problems. The third result that we will be obtaining is by putting the value of n to be equal to 2. So, if we put n is equal to 2, we will be obtaining Laplace transform of here if we put 2, it will be t square. And so, Laplace transform of t square will be equal to, so if we put 2, 2 factorial by s to the power 2 plus 1, which will be uh, s cube. So, what is 2 factorial? 2 factorial is 2 into 1. So, it will be 2 divided by s cube. So, this is the value of Laplace transform of t square which is equal to 2 divided by s cube. In a similar way, if we put n is equal to 3, we will be getting Laplace transform of t cube to be equal to, it will be 3 factorial. What is 3 factorial? 3 into 2 into 1 which is 6. So, 6 divided by s to the power 3 plus 1. So, it will be s to the power 4. So, therefore, the Laplace transform of t cube is equal to 6 divided by s to the power 4. So, this is how we obtain the results. Okay, fine. Now, next we will obtain uh, the, uh, the result when n is equal to 1 by 2, which is, a, uh, which is a different result. So, let us do that now. So, next we are going to find when the value of n is equal to 1 by 2. So, if n is equal to 1 by 2, what will happen here? 
लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ टी टू द पावर वन बाई टू सो एल ऑफ टी टू द पावर वन बाई टू एंड दिस कैन ऑल्सो भी रिटर्न एज एल ऑफ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टी बिकॉज वी नो दैट टी टू द पावर वन बाई टू इज स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ टी एंड दैट विल बी इक्वल टू नाउ हियर वी विल बी यूजिंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज दिस वन फॉर द रिजल्ट सो we will be having n gamma n divided by s to the power n plus 1 now what is the value of n n is equal to 1 by 2 so if we substitute 1 by 2 in this we will be getting 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 divided by s to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 so let us do that so we will be having 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 Divided by s to the power one by two plus one. So what do we obtain from this? We know that gamma of one by two from gamma function. We know that it is equal to square root of pi. This we have derived in our previous semester by learning about gamma function. This result we have derived in it. So you remember this gamma. The value of gamma of one by two is equal to square root of pi. and so therefore this value will be equal to 1 by 2 square root of pi divided by s to the power what is 1 by 2 plus 1 it is 3 by 2 and hence we get the value as square root of pi by 2 s to the power 3 by 2 so this is the value that we obtain when n is equal to 1 by 2 so therefore laplace transform of square root of t is equal to square root of pi divided by 2 s to the power 3 by 2 so dear students now finally we are going to derive when the value of n is equal to negative 1 by 2 so we will be getting laplace transform of t to the power negative 1 by 2 to be equal to so now here we are going to use the second expression that we have that is l of t par n equal to gamma of n plus 1 divided by s to the power n plus 1 what is the value of n that we have taken negative 1 by 2 so if we substitute that we will be getting gamma of negative 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by s to the power negative 1 by 2 plus 1 so let us do that so here we are going to substitute n is equal to negative 1 by 2 so we get gamma of negative 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by s to the power negative 1 by 2 plus 1 but what is negative 1 by 2 plus 1 it is 1 by 2 so we get gamma of 1 by 2 divided by s to the power 1 by 2 But what is gamma of one by two? Just now we saw here it is equal to square root of pi. So that is equal to square root of pi divided by s power one by two is also square root of s. So that is equal to together we can write it as square root of pi divided by s. So therefore we obtain Laplace transform of t to the power negative one by two to be equal to square root of pi by s. So hence we have obtained these two results. from the result l of t to the power n so hope you have understood all these uh, results that we have derived so far we now sum up all the results that we have learned from result 1 to 13 and we have uh, written in a sheet of paper together for you to understand it so just go through it so if you see here these are the results that we have summed up Previously, first uh, we learned the formula for Laplace transform of a function f of t. So this was the general formula. Using this, we derived the following results. The first result was l of one equal to one by s. Then l of e power a t was one by s minus a. And whenever you have e power minus a t, this sign alone will change. So negative sign will become positive, and you get one by s plus a. In a similar way, we had the result for l of cos h a t, which is equal to s by s squared minus a squared. For sin h a t, you will be having a divided by s squared minus a squared. And for cos a t and sin a t, instead of a uh, minus, here you have a plus. That is the only difference. and we have the result for l of t to the power n we have the three expressions we can use any one of the expression as a result according to the convenience of the problem and then we have the following results which was derived from this result 8 so using result 8 we derived these following results 
so that i have summed up and i have written here so you you should remember all these results and use it in the problems while solving it so in our next video we will be solving various different kinds of problems under the topic laplace transform thank you